So based upon all this information, we can extract this via uh, an automated layout for our OV3, which is our operational information exchange. It tells you from which elements uh, the information is going to and from, the type of information, um, and the flow items that exist in on that information. Okay. It also allows you or gives you tags to extract uh, measurements and uh, the realizing connectors as they are or as they will be within uh, the SV view views and also space for description. Um, we can also build up custom layouts. In this instance, I created a, a custom layout in our all view. If I just do a navigate to locate in browser, you can see these matrix layouts, layouts here. I have a custom layout, which is looking at elements that go to and from where are we? operational nodes to operational activities. And what we're looking for are elements of type form, as you'll see in a minute. Okay. And based upon this, we can extract in the information that tell, tells us which operational activities are performing which uh, repair and troubling control node, or which node or which nodes are performing which operational activities. We can also add relations directly onto uh, this uh, n squared chart. So if we add a new relation there, it's going between the recovery and the recovery issue in order. And I go back a step onto my uh, OV2. Okay. And I click or select various elements in the model. Okay, and I do layout, complete relations among selected. You can see it's added a new performance relationship between the recovery to the issue recovery of a, the issue recovery order, which is exactly what we've got in the OV3. Sorry, the custom uh, table view. And this can be set up also for matrices to extract information that's not present in the model. So if I just delete that, go to the OV2, okay, you'll see the uh, delete from model. you see that now this is missing from the custom view in the, the element. Okay. So from this, we're now going into our SOVs which are our service orientated views. I've only got a couple of simple um, services here. Really what we're looking at initially here is our service taxonomy. Um, what we're looking at in terms of services in this instance is really the coded service to look at encrypting and decrypting the messages. Okay. Um, typically in the service views as they're intended to be used now, the definition of service is much wider and it can correlate to a operational aspects of of the uh, of the architecture um, and also resources directly rather than just uh, what we consider to be WSDL type or net centric services these services can be much much larger in definition so again based upon a set of uh, um, dependencies we can extract information that relates our services to a capability. And this is starting to give us a traceability back from the things that we're realizing in the model to our original sets of capabilities that we intend the enterprise to actually um, carry out. Thanks very much, Graham. So remember, the second part of this demonstration is going to cover some of the other UPDM views, such as the system view. So be sure to check that out. I'm going to leave you with this slide which shows some additional resources that you can check out including a download of a trial version of Rhapsody so you can take a look at this capability yourself. My name is Adrian Whitfield with Dr. Graham Bleakley. Thanks again for watching this product demonstration of Rational Rhapsody Unified Profile for Dodaf and Modaf. Thank you very much.